welcome everyone in this session i'm going to show you how we can create this app this app shows a t-shirt which is an image and it says what type of uh, brand this is okay and here we have the brand name here the color of the t-shirt and here the store location and here we have multiple buttons okay depending upon the multiple buttons what we can do is we can click on these buttons and it will display that color t-shirt okay or whether it can be a shirt or whatever it is and it will show what brand it is again the color and the store locations like this red purple green pink yellow so this is we are going to create this uh, using simple states inside a functional components and i will be using use state function for this one so let's begin so here is my app.js file okay which is totally empty right now and we have only like h1 tag which says react tutorials hyphen ecoders so let me show you the web browser right now so we have totally empty blank space right now so let's come to the code and now first thing what you are going to do is you are going to download that particular images okay and store it inside a location okay in your src folder itself so i have made an images folder over here inside src and i have stored all those images whichever i wanted like blue.png green.png pink purple red.png and yellow.png so these are all the images which i have downloaded from the internet okay i'm going to show you the website as as well okay so this is one of the websites okay it's called as a flat icon and from here you can download any one of these uh, images so see uh, let me show you that like if uh, i just click on this image and here you can directly download this or you can click on this edit icon image okay and here from here you can choose different different colors for that particular images okay just like that i have downloaded this image and i clicked on edit icon and i just changed uh, different different colors and i have downloaded these images so these are free download and you just have to click on the download button and it will download that particular images for you okay and if you are not looking for these kind of images you can uh, go to this uh, unsplash.com website from here also you can get very high quality images for absolutely for free which you can use in your official websites and uh, we have one more website which is called as pexels.com from here also you can go and i usually use uh, this html color picker uh, website which is from w3 school so it will give me the color codes whichever i want as the hash code for that particular color okay so just like this from this particular website i have downloaded this particular images image okay and in my application i'm going to store those images so let me just close this image and here i have created that images folder and i have stored all the images in this particular location okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to first you have to import all these images okay in your app.js file so here at the top i'm going to import so one by one you are going to import all the images so first let me say i want to import uh, the blue color image so here i'm going to just name it as blue okay this variable can be anything okay and i'm going to say i'm going to import blue and uh, use the single quotes double forward slash and it is going to show your images folder and from images folder i'm going to say blue.png so just like this so i have just uh, imported the blue color image the blue color t-shirt image blue.png as blue variable okay just like this only i'll import all the other images as well so let me just put this uh, few more times just change this uh, name to something other other color so let me just say here i want the red color okay just like this i'm going to use uh, here let me say green so green.png is there then i want to choose pink so let me just control d let's say pink pink.png then purple so purple is also done and last one i want the yellow color t-shirt so let me get rid of this and say yellow so this is the first step which you are going to do okay like importing all the images okay and giving it whatever name you want to give so in my case i have given the same name as the image name but here you have changed it into blue red green pink purple and yellow color so the first stage is done next what you are going to do is i am going to display okay all those things up and i am going to create states for each and everything inside this particular function so first of all i am going to create a hook called as img okay and set img so okay set img or set image also you can say like this okay i am creating a state called as img and set image you can say or here you can say like this i am ag i am 
eg so you can show this image on the screen so at the beginning i'm going to use the state okay that it's going to be by default uh, the blue one so let's put this variable over here like this okay so this is the default color of the uh, uh, you can say the t-shirt which is going to get shown in the web browser at the beginning so let's uh, import this uh, use state function also here at the top so let me just copy this and uh, at the top you just have to use the curly brace and say use state that function okay which we are going to use to update or you we have to set the initial state of this particular image and that will be this blue color variable which we have created here at the top for showing the image okay now what we have to do is we have to just uh, uh, make it a separate division like this where we want to show that particular image so i'm going to use the img tag src equal to and here is going to be the image this variable which we have taken here okay and let me add the alt text and i will say uh, no preview okay if the image is not available then uh, this text is going to get appeared on the screen instead of image so let me just close like this okay so this is how you show the image okay on a web page so here let me just fix uh, the height uh, let me say like uh, in double quotes let me hard code it so i'll make it as 150 and even the width uh, w i d t h width in double quotes i'm going to say 150 in double quotes we have to say like this so we have shown one image on the screen which is going to be the blue color image of that particular uh, blue color image like this this variable okay that is the state of this particular image and that is what we are showing here okay now let me just save this one and let me just go to the web browser and show you so that we have this particular image right now it is getting shown to us on the screen see suppose if i change uh, this variable to red okay and uh, let's save it and let's go to the browser and as you can see we have got the red color image so this uh, state has get has to get updated every single time this variable okay so at the beginning uh, time being uh, let me make it back as blue itself okay now so here we have this uh, division which is showing us that particular image so this is that particular division okay so first of all uh, let me add uh, like this class name equal to uh, let me put uh, padding inside the box and also give a little bit of border and i'll say rounded hyphen five okay let's give a radius or let's say three okay let me save it and let's go to the web browser and yes so we have a browser like this okay a division with five uh, with the pixels of inside of five pixels and uh, let's use some margin as well so i'll say here along with the padding i want a little bit of margin on the outside part let's say five so let's save it and let's go check out the browser yes we have got the margin outside on all the four sides of five pixels and inside also we have padding like this so one image we have uh, shown next i want to display a separate division which shows the details of that particular image so let me come back to the code and here we have created a separate division for that okay now what what i'm going to do is i'm going to display okay like what is the shirt type what is what brand it is what color it is and where whatever the store location is so here let me just uh, put it in a h1 tag or h2 tag like this okay let me say that uh, here i want the type of that image whether it is a t-shirt or a shirt or a pant or whatever it might be okay so that is going to be one of the types so here that is going to come and for that also i'm going to create one more hook like this so let me come here and say what type it is okay we have the type okay and here i'm going to say set type of that particular image and at the beginning i'm going to say uh, type if here we don't have anything and uh, as of now it is like a simple t-shirt so here simply i'll say t-shirt t-shirt like this okay so the blue color image of type t-shirt so here i'm going to say type so let's come here and i think hyphen symbol is not required i'll just simply use a colon symbol like this okay so let me just uh, save this one okay and let's go to the browser and check out see it is saying the type is a t-shirt okay and just like this only i'm going to create uh, another variables okay for brand color and store location so let me just uh, come here and say in a paragraph that uh, this belongs to a brand 
okay whatever brand i'm going to keep c o b r a n d so let me just get rid of this and let's create another hook for this one so let's copy this line itself paste it here and let me make it as brand and here i'm going to say set brand b r a n d brand and brand name you can give anything like this for time being i'll keep it as adidas okay so that is the brand which i'm showing here so let me get rid of this extra white spaces let me save this one let me go back to the browser and as you can see we have displayed the brand as well okay now let's come back to the code and after the brand let me copy this paste it here and here i want to display the color so i'll say color okay whatever is the default color we will be making a separate hook for that so let me just copy this line one more time paste it here change this to color and here we are going to say we will be having a function called as set color and at the beginning the state of that color is going to be blue so that's done and one more thing here i'm going to use one more paragraph tag and i'll say store location store location is going to be whatever store location we are going to put here so store location and i'm going to create a separate hook for this one as well so let me copy this or let me just simply copy this whole line itself paste it here and here let's just change this to store location store location and here we are going to say set store location oh sorry i'm going to say store location location like this okay and at the beginning store location i'm simply say uh, bangalore like this okay and all these details i want to display here on the screen so let me go back to the web browser and let me show you that we have a division which is showing us the details of what type of t-shirt or shirt it is what brand it is what color it is and where it is available the store location okay let's go to the website and as you can see we have all the four details which we wanted to display along with that image of that particular thing okay now i'm going to make this uh, and this come in the one single uh, uh, next to each other and uh, for the time being what i'm going to do is uh, this division this division i'm going to keep a class name okay margin hyphen five because i want uh, uh, margin on all the five sides okay and also let us give a border okay and i'll say rounded hyphen five okay the details which i want to show okay and also let let us say we have a little bit of padding of five pixels inside okay and now what i'm going to do is see this is the division which is showing this image as well as this division of that particular uh, text variable so this one i'm going to say okay display hyphen flex so that is one of the bootstrap class names so that uh, it will make uh, those uh, things come next to each other okay so this is the thing right now and uh, next thing what i'm going to do is uh let's say i mean i don't think we need uh, this padding and all those things uh, i guess or maybe let's remove the margin okay and let's go to the website okay so as you can see right now we have uh, our image and uh, right next to that only we have our uh, details about that t-shirt okay now let me go here and uh, the padding i'm not liking it so much so let me just get rid of the padding okay and uh, let me see uh, how it is looking right now okay so it is coming next to each other but this radius and all those things is overlapping so let me just uh, get rid of that uh, border radius uh, so i'll get rid of that uh, radius part <clears throat> and border uh, i have right now but uh, i want to have margin only on the starting side means on the left side so margin hyphen phi i think uh, this should do it okay so let me go back to the screen yes sir so we have something like this right now and uh, let's have let's add a little bit of padding so padding hyphen 3 should be i think uh, more than fine okay so let's come here and yes okay this looks much better okay now let's get rid of that border i don't want that border anymore okay so let's come back to the code and here is that uh, border thing so let me get rid of that okay let's save it and yes so we have something like this okay and then uh, i don't think uh, padding also will matter anymore so let's get rid of that also so right now we have the t-shirt as well as the 
uh, things about the t-shirt are getting displayed on the screen now what we need to do is we need to have buttons over here so that whenever we click on that those buttons okay we are going to see which color and we are going to see different images different uh, text and all those things for each and every particular image okay and let's come to the code and see this is that particular division which is having that image and all the text just after this only i'm going to create a separate division for that okay so that we can have all the buttons and everything okay so here one by one we are, i'm going to create all the buttons so so button like this so this will be for the blue color so let me type here blue and then just like this only let's copy this and paste it few other times so that i can choose different different colors so this will be the green color then we have the pink then we have the purple then let's say red and finally the yellow color so okay and i'm going to use the bootstrap class names okay first uh, let me show you that website that we have uh, these buttons over here okay and uh, let us make in the center of the page as well as uh, let us give the appropriate color for each and every button okay so let's come here so the first uh, this blue color button okay we have a bootstrap class name for this one okay that is called as uh, primary so i'm going to say uh first of all le let me make it look like a button so button hyphen small small button i want and button hyphen primary okay this will give a blue color button for that and also let us have some margin uh in between uh, each and every button okay so let's go to the browser and see this, this is what we have got right now we have a blue color button over here so the same thing i want to do for the rest of the button so let's come to our code and let's add some bootstrap class names are like this itself so let me just copy this okay and let me put here 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 and here like this okay but uh, we don't have a uh, see for red i can use the danger like and for yellow i can use uh, the button color as primary sorry the warning that will give me the yellow color uh, color for that or green i can use success okay but pink and purple i cannot use uh, the bootstrap class name so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to go uh, to this particular website okay see this will give me uh, some color code whichever i want okay this is called as w3 color picker uh, uh, website okay see i want a pink color so whatever pink color you have you just uh, click on that and you are going to get uh, this uh, color code for that hash code for that just copy it okay come back to our website and see for pink color i can i cannot use uh, this button primary thing anymore okay i'll just remove it off okay and here i'm going to say style okay i'm going to give my own styles and since it is a uh, inline style so i'm going to give it in double quotes and i will say like this now that color okay or bg background color so background color is uh in double quotes or single quotes you will have to give that uh, color like this okay and um maybe the text color okay color i will say uh, just make it as a white color or something okay so we have a pink color button okay with the text as uh, white color i have chosen so let me just uh, go to the website and check it out so let me just uh, save it and let's go to the browser so as you can see we have got the pink color as well okay now let's go and do the same thing for the purple color as well so let's go to the code or uh, let's go first uh, to the color picker and let me choose a purple color like this and let's copy this particular code itself let's come back to our code which is studio code and uh, let's put that particular color over here so first of all let's get rid of this okay and here so just like this itself so let me just grab this whole thing the style code and paste it over here for the purple color and let's go back to the brow web browser and copy this color so the hash code i'm going to copy let's come back to the code and that color code let me paste it over here so it will give me a purple color button so let's go back to our app okay so as you can see right now we have the color codes for each and every button like this 
and now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to say uh, here that class name text hyphen center okay uh, for for the division which has uh, all these buttons are okay so let me go back to the visual studio code and here this is the division which is holding all the buttons are. so here let me add that class name I'll say button hyphen sorry I'm gonna have to say text hyphen center okay that is one of the bootstrap class names so what it will do is it will make all the buttons come in the center of the page so let us go here and see as you can see we have got our buttons in the exactly center of the page and uh, now let's come back here in our code and here let me just put a paragraph saying that uh, pick pick a color pick a color okay and uh, now let's go to the web browser and check it out so we have uh, a app ready with us which uh, says pick a color and we have to pick any one of these colors and this image as well as these details should will change automatically depending upon the button which we are going to click so each button will have a click event on that and it will be calling a function which up updates uh, the state of all these things uh, means it will going to update all these things for us using the setter function for each and every image uh, type brand color and store location so for that what we have to do is inside this uh, function okay inside the app function itself but just before the return statement we are going to create function for each and every color so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say i have a function for blue color okay blue color button okay and it is going to set the image okay i'm going to use a setter function that this is the function which i'm going to use okay and here the state okay the state i'm going to say is this blue color so let me copy that and paste it over here okay so one state we have updated and then we need to type what type of image that is so set type of that particular uh, t-shirt or shirt whatever it is okay to uh, i'll simply just put it as shirt for right now okay i'll not put it as t-shirt intentionally i'm putting it as shirt so that i can see uh, a different type of uh, text whatever i want to display then i want to uh, set the brand okay whatever brand it is so let me call this uh, set setter function set brand okay and brand i will say adidas adidas is the brand now semicolon just like this only i'm going to set uh, what is the next hook here we have the color so set color is the function so let me just grab this one and paste it over here and set the color to whatever uh, color we have given so i'll select it as blue okay then finally i have to set the store location where exactly that store is present where i can find this particular t-shirt so here I'll, i'm going to say bangalore okay bangalore is the uh, place where we are going to find this blue color t-shirt so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this function okay whenever i click on this blue color button so let me just first let us give some space so that we can see the code properly so here inside this uh, code okay so inside this division okay i'm going to have an on click event okay on click event okay which will call this particular function which is called as blue color so let me copy this and let's put it over here like this okay we don't have to put curly braces over here sorry parenthesis over here so that or else it keeps on calling itself again and again so i have an on click event which calls the blue color function like this okay now we have a function for uh, showing us the blue color so just like this only i'm going to copy this whole thing and make a function for let's say the green color so here let me make this into a green color button so function name also i'll keep it as green here we have the green okay green is the image name so this is the image name which i have kept for the set image okay and here i will say this is a t-shirt okay this is a t-shirt okay and uh, brand i'm going to say it is uh, of puma or something okay and here the color i'll say green okay and store location i will change some other uh, send it to delhi or something okay so this is the store location and uh, see next color is uh, green color right so green color is here okay first let me give some gap okay and here okay i'm going to say just like this itself on click okay it should call the 
green color function so green color function it is going to call okay and just like this only let us create functions for all the other colors so first blue is done green is done so let me just do it for pink so let me grab this name wherever it says green and make it as pink okay so pink is there okay set color i'll keep this is capital okay everything else is fine and this place i'm going to change it to goa like this that is also done and now let's copy this one more time paste it over here let's make the purple so let's copy this Control d option and purple or clearly purple color and i think uh, this should be fine set the color as purple and then uh, goa i'll change some other location sikkim like this and we have the red and yellow color so let me copy this one for red and one for yellow color so let me make this as red here also let me make this as red here also let me make this as red color okay and here we can say like this here allow something okay this is the different location and then finally we come to the last function where i need to set this one as yellow color so y e l l o w yellow color is a button and uh, let other details be like the same itself puma here i'll change this to nike here i'll change this to brand to mintra like this okay i think this should be enough and now let's add those functions for each and every button on click events for each and every button so on the pink button okay let me grab this let's copy paste and change this to pink color function so pink color then for the purple let me put here on click event okay i'll say purple color that is the function then finally for the red one i'm going to say on click okay call the red color function and finally for the yellow color button i'll say on click to call the yellow color function okay so this is how you are going to create this particular application okay now let us go to the website and let's refresh it once okay now when i click on blue color see it says shirt adidas blue color and location okay then when i click on green see it is showing a different image okay the brand also changed green location also changed show locations in pink purple red yellow okay so this is how you make uh, this particular application using hooks inside a functional component so these are all called as hooks which you have just created for showing the image the what type of shirt or t-shirt it is okay and the brand name color as well as the store location okay so this is the whole code and all the code will be available on github as well so let's come back to the browser and let's check this feature once again so click on blue it will give you the blue color t-shirt and all the other details green pink purple red and yellow 